Hey YouTube, how's everyone doing? This is Big Country Time, back with some more uh, mystery boxes, uh, store purchases, and then some online pickups. So today we got a bunch of content. We have some pickups from Target. We got some online purchases from Target. We got a uh, eBay purchase. Uh, what is this? Uh, Amazon pickup. Um, I have another box from Toy Wars. I don't ever remember ordering anything from Toy Wars, so it'll be interesting to see what's on here. Um, not sure if my wife ordered this, so when I open it, I may be in trouble. All right, so we'll check out what that is. And got a mystery box from a fellow YouTuber. It's going to be from Funko Pop Chick. So if you're interested in checking out her content, check her out. It's Funko Pop Chick. It's also uh, on Instagram as at Funko Pop Chick. So I believe this one was a $40 box, uh, up to four pops, with a minimum value of $30. Um, just did it more out of trying to help her out. She's going through some tough times through COVID. She's uh, a bartender. So with COVID, she's really not making the money she used to. So um, I helped her out with the purchase. So I think she still has some more stuff that she's selling. She's selling a lot of her pops. So if you guys check this out, uh, go ahead and help her out. Go to her uh, her eBay or her, her uh, Instagram and see if you can purchase something from her. So uh, we'll save that to last. Um, this had some actually decent hits. So um, it had a, what is it, a Grand Admiral Thrawn as one of the top hits. So I wouldn't mind getting that. Um, there's a Freddy Funko. There's the Invisible Man. And we see, uh, looks like uh, from The Walking Dead, Shiva. So those were the four top hits, a bunch of other ones. So we'll see what I get with that. We'll do this one last. So, all right, so some of the store purchases I got were, picked up uh, the CB6B over at uh, Target. Um, at my Target, this was the only one left. So at first I wasn't gonna get this one, but uh, you know what, so I just go ahead and pick it up. So it's a cool little Star Wars pop. I don't even really recall what movie it's from. It says uh, Star Wars Galaxy Edge Trading Post. So I'm not sure if this is just from Disney or if it's from a movie, but cool, it's Star Wars. I pretty much love everything Star Wars. So I'll add that one to uh, the collection. Um, also with that pickup, um, I saw this uh, pop and t-shirt, um, pretty cool uh, Wolverine, and I love the shirt. So pick that one up. Um, you guys, you guys want to see the shirt? Let's check out the shirt. So it just happened to be a double X shirt. Um, I usually wear XL, but some of these pop shirts, uh, it's a pretty good, comfortable fit. Not a bad deal when you get the pop and tees. It wasn't any special price or anything like that, but I always life. love wearing these shirts. All right, so I'm trying to go through this fast because there is a lot of boxes to open. And I'm gonna try to keep this to under 30 minutes. All right, stand up, check that out. So, not bad, pretty cool shirt. And you'll be seeing me wearing that in one of my previous, or my next videos. Throw it on the back of the chair right there. Check out the pop, see how it fared in the box. Bam, look at that. So that's a cool pop. Let's see if I get the glare out of it. I move my light so the light's like directly in front of me. So he almost, I don't think he glows in the dark, but it's kind of like a metallic. If you guys can see him, it's kind of almost has like a metallic sheen to it. 
Definitely a cool pop. I think it's an undervalued pop. Uh, they don't really have it on uh, PPG as that high value, but um, so this is the first appearance Incredible Hulk, number 181. So cool deal. Um, I think that may be my second, second or third Wolverine pop. I picked up Logan from one of the Marvel Core boxes. So. $24.99. Alright, so not bad. Wasn't any special price or anything like that. And then I also uh, picked up uh, this one right here Alien Remix. So, again, they only had it in 2X. So, I'd rather have it a little bit large than too small. So, we'll check this one out too. And, like I said, I'm trying to go through this pretty fast because. I'm going to be doing a lot more boxes than I normally do. And normally my videos run about 30 minutes, so. Bear with me. If I ramble on and I'm talking too fast. Alright. Alright. As you can see, that's how they package them in there. So hopefully the pop fared well. And I really like this shirt. And I like most of these uh, Alien crossovers. I've only ordered a few of them. I haven't ordered all of them. Just order the ones I like. So the chosen ones. Another cool pop tee. So be looking forward to wearing that one. And I'll throw this over the back of the chair. And then we'll see how the pop fared. And this one is a glow in a dark pop. All right, the box kind of got, I don't know if they put it inside the other box, it kind of lifted it up right there. This is Buzz Lightyear, remixed, number 749. So I think this is actually the first one I've opened from the ones I ordered. Cool deal, there's all the different ones they have available. Other than that little, little piece right there, it looks pretty nice. All right. Cool looking uh, variation of pops. All right. All right, so what else do we have? I'm going to save the eBay purchase. Let's see. Um, let's go Amazon. Look at that box, how crunched it is. So I think this was a re-release of a Star Wars pop, I believe. Um, I think this was uh, the Sith Jet Troop. I already have one, but uh, they actually re-released it, and it was it was actually cheaper than the original release. So hopefully it didn't get crunched in transition. Um, there's the packaging, one little bubble on top. Alright, and then they have it in a plastic bag. I've never seen it in a bag like that. But yeah, it's it's crunched. All right there. So I picked it up as a possible giveaway. Um, so if I do give it away, hopefully people don't mind a little bit of crunch it. It is a cool pop. I'm not sure... Uh, what they're going for, but it uh, it got some damage on the back right there. So we'll see. We'll see how we do. I, I don't think I can fix that damage right there. You can see it. But there it is. The Sith Jet Trooper. And um, this is the shared sticker. I also got a shared sticker. You can see my other one right up here. Box is better than this one. But it's a cool pop. Put that up there. Future giveaway. All right. Next up. Go for this uh, Target uh, purchase. Um, 
not sure which one this is. I don't think it's Star Wars though. It's something different. I'm mixing it up, mixing it up here. All right, doing pretty good pace. All right, here's the box. It's in the box. This is, uh, let's say, tell me what it is. Uh, yes, all right, but I'm, I'm not gonna say it until I open it. All right, box in a box, so it should be sh really good shape. Some excellent package into that. Oh man, the box is banged up. Look at that. All that packaging, triple boxed, and it's all crunched up there. What the heck? So, this is uh, a red Batman. This is for the red card uh, holders. But uh, I'm going to have to contact them and see if they can give me a better box. Um, they still have them available. This was actually going to be a, a gift. So, but look at that. This is crunched on the bottom and crunched on top. How do they do that? All right, well, but still cold pop. It's like a metallic red in there. So if you're interested in getting some, you got a Target red card, go ahead and uh, order one of these, free shipping. All right, so that's five down. All right, we'll go for, I'm gonna go for the eBay purchase, and then we'll do this Toy Wars. That's a mystery to me, because I don't think I ever ordered for anything from them in the mystery box. All right, so we're on pace, doing good. All right, so this one, is a GameStop uh, pop that uh, Darth Vader concept. I was unable to get it on the Funko Shop. I wasn't able to go to the Funko Shop or the GameStop store and pick it up. I went to several different ones. Uh, the GameStops only received like two each, so I hit one. Uh, they said they just sold out. They told me to go to another one. They said they had a bunch. Get there, guys. Like, no, oh, we only got two. Went to another one, same thing. Only, only each one only had two. Several different releases on the, the website. By the time I get online, get in my basket, check out, sold out. So, um, ended up getting on this on eBay. Paid more than uh, than I wanted to, but I really like this pop. Uh, I think I paid thirty bucks. Um, haven't checked the prices since I purchased it, but ain't going anywhere. It's staying in my collection. And this guy really packaged it well. Um, it's uh, from eBay. It's, uh, I don't know if I should say his name, but uh, I don't know what his eBay name is, but uh, Santiago Serrato on eBay. If you watched videos, thank you. Did good packaging. So. Has a uh, soft protector, lots of bubble wrap. So you can tell he uh, he sells a lot on eBay. All right, let's check it out. I think it's fairly well packaged. Yeah, that's. That is nice. Um, eh, that's a little, I think a little corner damage, but you can barely tell. All right, there he is. Awesome Darth Vader concept series. Really wanted the Bubba Fett concept series, but uh, I think that was only a Funko Shop release. Um, no other uh, stores carried it. So I don't think I'll ever get that one. But I got that one. 
Um, got the Chewbacca from the Funko shop. That was the only one I really wanted. He's an ugly concept. Uh, Chewbacca, I'm glad they went with what they did. Um, I almost tried to return the Chewbacca after I purchased it. That's how badly I felt about it, but got it anyway. It's Star Wars, so it'll stay in my collection. All right. So look at that Darth Vader. Pretty cool. Glad I... That's actually my first uh, Funko Pop I've bought in, off of eBay. So, cool deal right there. All right, so we're about 15 minutes into it. We haven't got to the mystery boxes. So, this is from Toy Wars. It's a mystery box to me because, like I said, I don't remember buying anything from them. But my wife may have bought something to surprise me. And I may be getting in trouble right now. Uh, I don't have any anniversaries or birthdays coming up, so let's check it out. Bam! Look at that. So, Princess Leia with Speeder. So, I didn't buy this from uh, Toy Wars. I purchased this is on uh, Amazon, so it must have been a, uh, a vendor from Amazon. Um, so they had this on sale just recently. Um, I think it was like ten bucks or something. So that's a cool looking Princess Leia on a speeder. I don't know. Can I take this out? Very. So this probably might end up being out of box anyway for display. It's a little bigger and I'm running out of room. I'm trying to sell some pops that don't really interest me anymore. Oh man, this thing is cool. Man, look at that, dude. That is cool. So, of course, all Star Wars Pops are bobbleheads due to some copyright rules due to Hasbro Toys. These are not figures, they're bobbleheads. So I think Hasbro has the um, licensing for figures. But uh, definitely a cool pop. Awesome. So this one's going to be from Return of the Jedi. This is uh, when they're on the moon with all the Ewoks, but uh, that's cool. So I might have to put this up out of camera with my, some of my other open pops, but uh, man, running out of room up there. to move my Jawa. Alright. Alright. So, alright, that's out of the way. We'll put that back in the box after this. Alright, here it is. Funko Pop Chick. Uh, remember, go check her out. Be able to help her out. I think she still has some boxes left over. Um, and also she's selling some of her uh, pops on eBay. So um, this is the Funko community, Funko family. We all support each other. Uh, we're all doing some, going through some hard times, different times with uh, COVID and everything. So if you can, help her out. All right. Uh, also, um, before I open this, uh, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and um, hit the subscribe button and hit the, hit the little bell so you know when my next video comes out uh give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down whether you like like the video or not and then throw me a comment down there so if you don't like it tell me what i can do better if you like it tell me what you liked about it all right so i'm real big on uh doing comments on videos i know sometimes depending on which uh platform 
you're watching this on, you know, like when I'm watching it on my TV, I can't uh, make comments, but I can do a I can do a thumbs up or I can hit the subscribe button, um, and then I'm, maybe later on when I get to the computer or my phone, I'll write a comment down there. All right, so kind of paper on on top. I think uh, so the pops are facing face up, so I'm try to face away. Throw the paper down. All right, so. Got a little note. She says, thank you for purchasing one of my mystery boxes. Best of luck to you, friend. Please share a review or any feedback on Instagram and tag me at Funko Pop Chick. Um, so if you can see that. It's kind of the glare. Funko Pop Chick. I'll also, uh, I'll put it on the, the video once I edit it. All right. So it looks... Like maybe a two pack? Man, I don't know. She's got it in two different boxes. So here's a box. And here's another box. Okay, so. Kind of cool. So maybe two pops in each box. I don't know. Probably didn't get the top hit. I really, really wanted that Grand Admiral Thrawn. I have bought in a lot of different uh, mystery boxes. Trying to get the Grand Admiral Thrawn. Trying to get that Funko Freddy uh, as a Yoda. Um, the General Grievous. All right, so. Not looking. Feels like there's two pops in here. Um, I don't feel a protector on this first one. Alright, I think that's the back. The front. Oh, cool. Catwoman. So 338. That is a really cool pop. Batman Returns. Um, my wife will really like this one. She really likes the Catwoman. I have another Catwoman. Let me see. Yeah, I have another Catwoman, one of the DC Deluxe ones. I actually have two. I have one in color and one in black and white. So cool. We'll check out the value after this. I ran out of room up there. Oh, let me move. I'll move in there. And we'll slide that over there. All right. So Catwoman. All right, we got another one. It's in uh, plastic wrap. So this is well wrapped, so maybe this is a better better hit. Might be a protector. Did a really good packaging. Uh, so I got to just say, she did really good packaging on the boxes. All right, now can you get the bubble wrap off? Oh, this tape is not coming off. Oh. All right, so I kind of looked at it. So it's the Mr. Poopy Butthole. So I don't really watch uh, Rick and Morty. I do have one other Rick and Morty. Um, it's way up there. It's Teddy Rick Chase. That was actually my first chase in the wild that I found. So pretty cool. I've seen uh, seen a lot of people pick this one up on a lot of different uh, channels. Mr. Poopy Butthole. So I'm not sure what the value is. Definitely has a unique name. So we'll put him up there. Hot Topic exclusive. All right, that's two down. And I'm not sure, was that on the top hits? Mm, yeah, not on the top hits. I don't even see it on the picture. So, all right, we've got probably two more pops in here. Still have a chance to uh, get the 
Grand Admiral Thrawn. Um, if I don't get it, still uh, it was worthwhile to uh, to help her out. Okay, um, it's all about the fun and helping other people out. All right. So not looking. So it's again, it's uh, one well wrapped pop and another one not wrapped. So I'll pull out the one that's not wrapped. Oh, cool, Miguel. This is an awesome pop right here. Limited edition exclusive. So uh, I wanted to get this and I uh, wasn't able to. So uh, cool, this is worth worth the 40 bucks I paid for it. Um, wow, that is nice. So, uh, dang, I'm not sure what the value of that, but that is a cool pop. Awesome. So you guys see it? All right, there is Miguel from Coco. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. And there's the other pops you can get. So that was the Wonder Con. So some nice hits. All right, so one more pop in here. This one is in bubble wrap. All right. So I think the ones in the bubble wrap are supposed to be the better pops, but um, that cocoa one is pretty nice. I think that one's got to be at least. I think those Wonder Cons were 15 bucks. So, and I think that one has gone up in value. So I think that one's like 20 bucks at least. Right. Oh gosh. All right. It's like you have to look at these to open it up. So. All right. So it's Toby from Naruto. I've uh, never seen this one yet. I have a few Naruto pops. That one's, uh, has a little bit of, um, like a scratch right down the front of it. But cool. Let me see. So I have of Naruto. I have the Naruto Six Path. A Naruto, uh, was a Naruto Uzumaki. Got a couple of Barudos. I don't know Naruto. What other Naruto I have? Naruto Sage Mode. And then I got some Naruto from the Baruto series. Um, I haven't watched any of them yet. But, um, cool. Um, well, let's do a Pop is Right for those four. Okay, so Pop is Right. Um, I'm thinking Catwoman's probably the least. Then the Naruto. Mr. Poopy Butthole, and then we'll go with Miguel Top, all right? So, here we go. My right to your left. So Miguel will be the most expensive. Catwoman will be the least expensive. All right. So as I price them, I'll put them back up on the stand over there. So it looks like Toby is from uh, 2017. Um, doesn't look like he's vaulted yet, but he's going for $13. So $13, but uh, starting sell rate, they're selling at 16. So if you were looking to buy it, uh, you would buy it for 16 if you're buy buying a post price guide. So it has a little damage, so it probably Probably can't get get thirteen dollars for it. All right. So Catwoman going for twelve. So twelve and then thirteen. Mister Poopy Butthole. All right, so I'll show this uh, going for 20 bucks. Not bad, so 20 bucks. So I already reached my uh, my $40 purchase. 
Uh, it's going down, it says it's going, turning bit down value. Um, not really collecting these, so if you're interested in buying this, hit me up. We can make a deal, all right? So, Mr. Poopy Butthole Hot Topic Exclusive. This is uh, from 2017. Um, uh, doesn't say it's vaulted yet. And the finale, finale is Miguel. This is a really cool pop. I don't think I'll be selling this one. I'll be keeping this one. Uh, my wife will like this one. This is awesome. So Miguel, number 741. So I lost the pop is right. Miguel is only going for $19. Surprising. I wouldn't sell it for less than 19. That's that's a cool pop. Why would you sell for less than that? Look at that detail in there. So $19. So whoever's selling it for that, you're uh, you're undervaluing the pop. That is a cool pop. Miguel. So um if you had the con exclusive, the con sticker going for $35. So as you all know, there was no wonder con. Everything's online. So basically you're just paying the difference for a sticker. All right. But cool pop. All right, so this one was 19. So, wow, it's almost doubled. My money came out to a total of $74. So awesome deal. Um, I was happy to be able to help her out. Got some awesome pops to do. So I probably will be keeping Miguel Catwoman. So don't forget, subscribe, hit the like button, throw a comment down. All right, this is Big Country Time. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.